Now being a 450 and being old, it's not a rocket ship by any means. And you rev it out and you're only going 60. Oh, bikes with carburetors, oh my god, whoa. Okay. Well, hello there, YouTube. Never done this before, I'm trying this out for the first time. Just got uh, in my GoPro and my mic and everything, and this is the first time I'll be trying this. I'm gonna take my uh, Honda CB450 out on a ride. It's a 1973, pretty sweet little beast. It's only got 12,000 12, miles on it. I can't believe I've already put 2,000 miles on this thing since I've had it. I'm trying to not talk too loud. I'm known to be one that talks too loud in most situations, so, but I hope you can hear me. I've literally never recorded a GoPro video before, never done any of this stuff, so I'll be really interested to see how this turns out. I'm pleasantly surprised with this motorcycle. It's uh, <laughs> It was my first road going motorcycle. I had a dirt bike when I was a kid. And then I got a... Uh, decided to get a road going motorcycle. I thought I was going to make this thing a custom, but then it was so clean I just left it. I'm just going to leave it same state that it is now until I decide to sell it. I haven't really had any problems with it. I'm really decently surprised. The other good thing is I also enjoy wrenching on... I also enjoy wrenching on motorcycles, so I don't have... I don't have a problem with it, uh with it being carbureted and points ignition and all that goodness. Well, in the fact that this one was well taken care of, sure helps. And the fact that it doesn't have a ton of miles on it. Seems like it's sat most of its life. This motorcycle I'm talking about, in case you didn't know. I'm trying to drive and think about this and everything all at once. I'm going to take you down one of the roads uh, around here that I enjoy. This this area doesn't um, doesn't offer much in the way of uh, scenic roads. Most of the roads are like this, flat and lifeless. But there's one road near here that has a little bit of curves to it, and it's not too far from my house. So this is the afternoon uh, stroll type of a ride if I want to get some curves. Unless there's a van in front of me like there's going to be now, which is usually the problem with this road, unless you go late. And of course they're going to slow down. <laughs> Guess we're taking these curves slow today, or at least this turn. Anyway, so I uh, I have been riding uh, motorcycles now. Well, you know, I, I rode motorcycles when I was a kid, but I mean, that wasn't much. I just rode a dirt bike around in the woods and stuff and uh, didn't really do any road riding until about six months ago, I went and bought this and I'm still on my learner's permit. I need to get that sorted out. It's just kind of annoying to, it's kind of a hassle where I live to set up a, uh, an MSF course. I just need to get it done. Cause I feel I feel like I ride good enough now. Um, I will I'll be the the other video that will already be up on uh, my channel is uh, of my DRZ 400. So I'll be uploading some videos of uh, both this and my uh, DRZ. I really like the. Uh, I've been seeing videos of enduro stuff and I really want to try to do that with the DRZ a little bit. I know that's a really, it, it's a pretty heavy bike for that kind of a use, but 
it's what I have. So I'm gonna use it. I'm not gonna go, I'm not in the situation right now to buy a KTM of some sort and spend two, 10 grand. I'm not really wanting to do that. One of the big surprises about this bike is how, I don't know, I guess it's it's the way the bikes are. <laughs> I didn't know it, but how how high you can rev this thing out and it's it's, it wants to be revved out. Even though it's old, it's totally fine with it. I mean, I did blow out an oil seal, um, but I mean, I'm sure I should redo all the seals really, but I blew out an oil seal, put a new one in, and I haven't had a problem since. I hope this uh, sun, this sunset pops up just as nice as it does uh, for me. It looks really nice right now. But yeah, this, this motorcycle, it's like, I feel like I should be shifting at a five and six, but five and six is just when it wakes up. It's like after that, that's that's when you get a little bit of power. Now being a 450 and being old, it's not a rocket ship by any means. Well, that was the uh, beautiful road, yay. <laughs> Northwest Indiana, lots of um, scenic, scenic roads. Uh, I'll just go this way. Yeah, so I'm think I'm thinking uh, if if this video goes well, I'm gonna put together a review for this bike. Even though it's old as crap and nobody's gonna be able to find one, I think it'll be kind of fun just to review an old vintage bike from a new uh, rider's perspective. Because I feel like I, I follow Yammy Noob and him and Spite all the time are talking about. I hope you can hear me. It feels real windy right now. Him and Spider are always talking about how, uh, oh, bikes with carburetors, oh my god, whoa. But I own two bikes with carburetors. Now I haven't had them forever, so I haven't had a whole ton of problems. And I don't mind working on bikes. Um, some people just would rather ride. I get that. Um, but, I mean, carburetors, in my experience so far, <laughs> that being six months, it haven't been that bad. I mean, I... You know, especially with the support of uh, YouTube and such, like this this motorcycle, I found a there's a YouTube channel that'll teach you how to tear the whole thing apart and put it all back together. I mean, they even got videos of how to tear the engine apart and put it back together. So if that's stuff that you like to do and you don't mind working on a, on something and you don't want to use it as a commuter and it's kind of a fun for you to work on projects, then hey. I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. I, I feel like these, I feel like people act like carburetors are gonna just, you know, make your bike explode, but they're not bad. And fifth gear always tricks me. I feel like there should be another one. This thing, I've taken it to 90 miles an hour before, um, and it actually does completely fine there. It's real buzzy though. The handlebars get buzzy. The foot pegs get pretty buzzy. <laughs> make your uh, make your feet tingly, which is really weird. I had oh, that's what the one thing I was gonna say earlier today. I'm f I can tell I'm getting comfortable with this bike because uh, I had my first uh, peg scrape today, which. <laughs> For some people isn't a big deal. Look at that sun, that's pretty nice. Some people isn't a big deal, but to me it was uh, interesting. It scared the crap out of me. I honestly don't know where I'm at. I mean, I know where I'm at, but I haven't been back here before. That's all she's got. But I have a lot of fun with that. I, I don't think I'd be able to control anything. Um, well, I would. I would be able to control something with more power, but I'm glad I started out on something like this. And that's another thing. I mean, if you, I, I really, I don't know. My personal opinion is that why not start out on an old bike where you might need to work on it a little bit. That way you can, um, not that it's gonna be the same systems that you're gonna get on a newer bike, but you can, you can learn to diagnose problems, which to me is fun. There it is.
and you rev it out and you're only going 60. <laughs> Pretty fun though. It's beautiful to have a mirror on here. I took both my mirrors off thinking it looked cool and then I could never see what was behind me. I never knew if there was a cop behind me. I never knew if, not that I would ever need to know if there was a cop behind me, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I could never see anything. All, I had to do this all the time and I felt stupid. It feels so nice. I literally just put this back on. So nice to be able to actually see uh, what's behind you and beside you. I just hate the way these look with the two mirrors. They look way too, they look way too old that way. Gonna give this guy some space. Actually. God, motorcycles are so freaking fun. I love this shit. The weather is absolutely beautiful for riding right now. It's like maybe 65, 70 degrees right now. So wearing the leather jacket, it just, the cool air goes right through it. Look twice for motorcycles, there we go. Little sign, not like anybody reads that other than a motorcyclist. <laughs> Who would even notice that sign? I barely noticed it. Yeah, that's what I love about this. I feel like, you know, <laughs> I'll be, it's kind of like the way that people talk about uh, Mazda Miatas, where it's like, you just, you feel like you're racing, you feel like you're going so fast. But you know, that whole thing about driving a slow car fast, you feel way more fun than driving a fast car slow. I feel the same way with this bike. It's, when I drive this slow bike fast, I feel, it feels so fun and so adventurous and then I look down and I'm like oh I'm gonna get pulled over and I'm only going <laughs> 50 or 60 and I'm like oh okay I don't have to worry that much I know where I'm at now that wasn't too bad I wonder what that will sound like coming through this little you probably won't even hear it who knows I don't mind the sound of this bike it's okay I mean it depends on the situation sometimes when it's echoing back it's nice but I wish it was a little bit louder it's kind of hard to find exhaust that works for this it kind of is it seems like it's you know you're going for cheap pipes like I got now I had the original pipes on it and it just choked the thing out as far as sound there was no sound whatsoever and uh <laughs> that's cool wave at people thinking they're motorcyclists and they look at you like you're high like what are you f <laughs> what are you fucking waving at me for i'm on a little uh which that was kind of dangerous that guy with his little freaking kid on a moped but whatever um natural selection at work folks uh <laughs> The exhaust on this thing, it's like you either go for cheap $100, $100 pipes or it's like you're going to go for a fucking custom system and I'm like, this bike, I only got for a few grand. I'm not spending a few grand on a pipe system that's more expensive than the bike itself. That's ridiculous. But I want it to sound cooler in some way. Uh, this, These pipes have removable baffles, but you go from this sound to like such a deafening straight pipe sound that it, it's way too much i i uh, commute to work at you know three in the morning four in the morning and if i'm warming this thing up at three and four in the morning outside my house i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna get real pissed off neighbors it's not like i could just say screw you but i kind of like my neighbors and i don't really want to make life hell on them because i don't want them to do that to me so i'd be real pissed off <laughs> if i had a neighbor with fucking straight pipes warming his bike up in the morning so i'm not doing that to him okay what are you doing turn signal brought it out at the last second i mean honestly i don't know why i'm commenting on that it doesn't really bother me that much i just won't comment on stuff that doesn't bother me 
it's just stuff I'm seeing. But yeah, I, I wish I could figure something else out with this exhaust because it's kind of just boring. But that might be um, kind of the price you pay when you have a, uh, what is it? The twin that is parallel twin. That's kind of what I've seen is that some people just say parallel twins are just boring sounding engines. And yeah, I kind of get, um, yeah. Especially when I first got it, I thought it sounded like a damn mower. <laughs> Sounds a little bit better now. But man, when, when it was like, when it had the original exhaust on it, it when I would uh, rev it up, it just sounded like I was pushed, like, it sounded like a lawnmower. I'm like, why would you? <laughs> and, and like, the, the original pipes are like apparently well like real sought after on these stupid things and I, like I don't get it just throw them in the trash I'm holding on to them because they're worth something and I might sell them someday or I might sell them with a bike or something I don't know what but like you can literally get like I think 300 bucks for a set of uh, original pipes for one of these bikes don't know why I don't know why that anybody would want that they're so muffled they sound like shit but I'm rambling. This is a uh, real specific to just my experience. So, all right, I'll get another. I'll pull it in here. Get another shot of the bike. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Nice LED light on the front of it there. I'm so happy I got one of these. They're so freaking cool to me. I love the body shape of them. I feel like Hondas look better than any other uh, old bikes. I mean, some of the Suzukis are pretty cool too. Alright, that's it. Bye.